Hi and welcome to this Landworks CAD tutorial. My name is Cedra and today I am going to show you how simple and easy it is to label your plants in Landworks CAD. So this is my plan that includes some trees. I can use the label option to label all or some of my plants. So I can select the plant before labeling or I can just directly click on this option that says label proposed plant. If I click here, I will be able to see the Label Proposed Plant dialog box. Now this Label Proposed Plant dialog box has many options and you can change the way the labeling of your plant looks by using these options. It has a preview box here as well, so whenever you change an option, you will be able to see the preview here. For example, to start with, this number of plants here is 1 because I haven't selected any plant before clicking on the label proposed plant option and if I uncheck this option, you will be able to see in the preview that the brackets are gone when I uncheck it and when I check it, the brackets come back. Now if I want to uncheck it, the brackets are gone. I like it that way. The second option, quantity separator is the separator that separates the quantity from the label. Now I can drop it down and I can have any other separator apart from this one or if I don't want a separator I can just click on this first option here so the separator is going to disappear. Now for me I like this first separator here so I'm going to include it here. Now the next option would be label field name. Now in this option we can select any field from the database and that specific field is going to show in the label of the plant. So I can select any field by dropping it down and I can select any of the fields from the database. For example, I can select the family, I can select the abbreviation or I can select the botanical name. So right now I've selected botanical name. The second option says label field name 2. So this is going to be an additional label if I select any option from here. Let's say if I want the abbreviation to come in the label as well. So that is going to be shown after the botanical name. If I don't want anything, then I can just go up and select this blank option from here and nothing will be shown. Now the container size is another option that we can add in the label. If I don't want any container size, I can just select the blank option from here and that is going to exclude the container size from the labeling. Now the next one is called the terminator type. So there are six terminator types. The first one is an arrow. As I select, you will be able to see the preview of these terminator types. So if I select the first one, it will be an arrow but it won't be a filled arrow. If I select the second one, it would be an open arrow. The third one would be a filled arrow. The fourth one would be a dot. The fifth one would be a filled dot. And the last one would be a slash. Now for me, my personal choice would be a filled arrow. So I'm going to select this option from here. The next option is the terminator weight. I've set it as default, but you can also select the weight of the terminator. In the next option, you can select the size of the terminator. Now, I have the size of 350 millimeters because it works fine for me. You can also make it 400, 450, 500. It's completely up to you. The next one is the size of the text. So 500 millimeter works for me. You can also change it. The next option here that says scale text by the plot scale, I would strongly recommend you to uncheck this option before labeling any plant. The next option here says label with leader lines. If I uncheck this option, I won't have any leader lines. And also you can see that all these options that are related to the leader have been grayed out. So if I check it again, you will see that these options are available again. Now this option here is the leader type. If I select the first option here that says single leader, it means that only one leader will be attached to a single label. If I select the second option, that means that more than one leaders can be attached to the single label. This happens when you have to label more than one plants. This second option, leader shape, defines the shape of the leader, so it can either be straight or curved. It really depends on your personal choice, which one you select. So I'll select the straight option. Leader elbows. Now, the first one here, if I select single, you will see that the elbows are single. If I select the double option here, you will see that the leader will have two elbows, one and two. 
So for me, I will select the single option here and now I'm going to click on label. But before clicking on label, I will just check the single leader option here. Click on label and now I'll follow the prompt that says locate the entity to label. So I'm going to click on this tree here. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and now it says locate the start of the leader. So I'm going to locate the start of the leader here and then it says locate the first elbow. So as you can see that the leader is moving freely around but if I press the shift key on the keyboard the movement of the leader is going to be restricted on specific angles. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to move down here. Click and this is how I can label my plant. Now as you can see that this is a single leader and I've also selected the single leader option. So if I try to label the next plant here it is going to have a separate leader. So click and then click again. See, so this second plant has been labeled as well. Now if I go back to the labeling option and select this multiple leader option here and click on label. If I try to label this plant here, click, click and click. And if I try to label the second plant here, since I selected multiple leader option when I was labeling this plant, if I select this plant here and try to label it, can you see that? So the leader of this second plant will be attached to the first leader. So this is how the multiple leader works. So I will press the shift key and click one more time. So this is how the multiple leader works. Now I'm going to show you what happens if I pre-select the plants before clicking on the label option. So I'm just going to right click to come out of the option, select and then press the control key and select the second plant as well. I'm going to click here and now it doesn't matter if I select the single leader or multiple leader. If I click label and follow the prompt, locate the start of the leader. So I'm going to locate the start of the leader, press the shift key on my keyboard, click, see both these plants have been labeled together and these plants are attached by this dotted line here. So this is how the label option works. Now I'm going to show you how to auto label your plants. So I'm going to click on the label command again and here you can see auto label options. The auto label option is used when we want to label all the plants in the drawing at the same time. So here the label prefix, we can select any kind of prefix that we want. For me, I'm going to select auto number and in the label suffix, I'm not going to select anything. So I'm just going to select none from here. The text size can be 300 millimeters. As I've selected auto number in the label prefix, all the plants in my drawing will be labeled by using a number. And every plant species is going to have a different number. So later on, by using that specific number, a plant species can be identified by inserting a legend. So instead of the auto number, you can also use the botanical name of the plant. If you type botanical name, you will be able to see the field over there. If I click, you will be able to see the botanical name of all the plants. So let's say I select botanical name instead of the auto number. And I strongly recommend you to uncheck this option. I can change the alignment of the text as well. I can make it top aligned, bottom aligned, left or right aligned. So I'm just going to make it center aligned for now. And if I click auto label, you will see that all the plants will be labeled automatically. Now, as you can see that it's hard to read through. So I think the best option would be to use auto number instead of the botanical names. So if I select the auto number from here and click on auto label, you will see that all the plants of the same species have been labeled by the same number. So I can identify these plants by using a legend later on in my drawing. So this is how you can label your plants by using the simple label options that we have in Landworks CAD. If you have any kind of questions, please feel free to email or comment on the video. I will be waiting for your comments. If you like the video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.